Sir, that will be there. Sir. That, that will be there. Sir, actually, we have to click on the, that resume share. It has been paused. Resume share. Uh, resume share. Sir, uh, resume uh, resume uh, okay. But again, I came back. Sir, you have to click that. Okay. Now, now uh, let me start with the topic uh, open access publishing. And uh, as you see in the syllabus that uh, this is not the uh, included in my specific uh, topic because that I uh, that topic has been assigned to me to discuss here. But I I would like to discuss because some part of these things will be related that uh, next time that I would like to discuss. So that's why I am given an idea regarding the open access of this. Now you see, what does it mean by open? Basically, I am giving an example, simple example. Suppose uh, if you want to uh, describe a person that uh, the characteristics of person is open. He is open-minded. How we assume about him? What things we can assume about him? Basically, we can assume that a person may be honest, may be honest. The person cannot mislead anyone. The person cannot hide anything from anyone. So three basic things apparently we can assume about him. So as a human being, sir, we always ex Sir, we cannot see the slides. Sir, we can see, but slide is not changing. I am not changing, you know. When I will change, then okay, sir. Exactly, exactly, sir. So we can see. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> So as a human being, we always expect the human uh, open-minded person in our society more and more. Similarly, in our academic society, in our academic environment, we always expect more and more open access resources, open access document, open access information. Because as a research scholar, we need to access a lot of information, particular information uh, that should be have open access. Otherwise, if we need to process each and every information, each and every document, uh, we then it will be difficult to us to pursue the course. That's why we need, we expect always open access documents. Just, and it is fact, that uh, we are moving to open access society. Just, just go back 20 years, 40 years, 50 years ago. What was the situation? The situation is that, that time we cannot imagine about the internet. We cannot think about the resource, uh, uh, digitized document, online document. This all was the beyond our reach. But today, the scenario has changed. All are within our hand, but not 100%. We cannot access all things freely. So look at the picture here. What indicates? You will find some containers. Most of them are open, but few are closed. So it indicates that. We are moving to open access society from the close access position that we expect, that we want. 
So this is the truth. This is the thing. Now, open knowledge. What is it? Can you say anyone? What is open knowledge? Have you any idea? Without any barrier. Yes. Open knowledge is the knowledge that we can access freely. It is free to use. It is free to its users. That is, we can access for any purpose without any barriers. There will be no financial barriers. There will be no uh, legal issues, legal barriers. So this is the open source, open uh, uh, knowledge. But we have some open sources that help us to disseminate the open knowledge in our society, that enrich our uh, 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 society by disseminating the open knowledge. So these are the open access, open source, open course, open scholarship, open research, open data, open innovations, open textbook, open educational resources. So these are the nine O's that help us to enrich our open society that disseminate, that helps in the disseminate to our uh, open knowledge in our society. Now, we are talking about the openness at every stage of research work. Just from the designing of the research activities, research work, to the conduct of the research ex experiment and analysis, and also the publication of the research output, and ultimately, the release of the research output. So this is the important steps of the research. And we need, we expect the openness at every stage of the research. Here you see some important tools I have mentioned here. And lots of tools are available in our society also. Some of them I have listed here. They help us at every stage in our uh, research work. Now we see, my experience is an important platform. Uh, basically, it's a virtual learning environment in help us to uh, share our research workflow with the others. Useful chain, another important platform for the chemists, that is the students on, uh, in the domain of chemistry. It is a virtual lab notebook, we can say. So they can use this, uh, this uh, platform for their research purpose. Taberna. Taberna basically helps in the documentation of research workflow. Laptop. Laptop is a blocking platform that helps us to publish our research information. Open wire, open wet wire, it is another wiki platform. We can share our research uh, problem, research output, research data with others. GitHub. It is a, a, we can say it is a store, a, a repository of quotes, quotes repository. If needed, we can uh, use the uh, quote that is available in GitHub. Shared for Romeo. It is an important service, important platform uh, we have in our uh, uh, syllabus. This. So I will discuss in later about these uh, services. Uh, basically, it gives us information on the publisher's policy on self-archiving of a particular article, this uh, uh, journal article. So this is the uh, shared for Romeo, RE3 data. Basically, it's a list of data repository, data site. It's another important platform that help us to track the uh, citation of our publication. Impact story. Impact story uh, help us to give a impact factor of the public. So, so, so many useful tools are available that help us at every stage of our research work. And we, as a research scholar, use these tools. We can uh, uh, we, we can use these tools uh, to uh, to progress our research activities. And all our tools are free. 
So there is no need to pay anything. We can access all uh, all tools all uh, tools freely. Next, <clears throat> open science research information network ran a series of studies, open science case studies, uh, to look at the openness across the different disciplines. And they came up with a definition of uh, open science. What is it? Open science is science that carried out and communicated in a manner which allows others to contribute, collaborate, and add to the research effort with all kinds of data, results, and protocols made freely available at different stages of the research process. What things are talking here? Basically, open science is a communication manner through which we can communicate, we can share our research data, research result, research protocols, research procedures with others at every stage of research we can share. So open science talk, talks about the share openness of the research activities at every stage. Here you see some important benefits of openness. Sir, excuse me, are the slides being changed? Because we cannot see the slides being changed. Yeah, I am changing my slides. But you are no, 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 sir, we can't. Sir, we, we can't see the slides being changed, sir. We are on the first slide, sir, where the agenda is written, agenda open access publishing. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. It's a little bit of a Oh, yeah, yeah. Why not? I tell you, can. Ask them if they can see. Ask them if they can see the slide change. Uh, now I was seeing the slide changes. No. No, sir. No, sir. Same slide as wing. That is green, sir. Is this slide being changed now? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. Now we can see. Now we can see. It's changing. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So now you see some benefits of openness. Uh, so first of things, if we think, suppose uh, all resources are open around us, then we can access all things without any barrier. So this is the first benefit of the openness. And secondly, it ensures the transparency. How it is? 
if we share the data with others if we share the analysis with others then our research activity research result will be validated by others by checked will that is checked will, will be checked by others so this is the another benefit that uh, research uh, activity is ensure the transparency of the research increase the visibility use impact of our research work and also leads to the new collaborations and research partnerships ensure long term access to your output help increase in the efficiency of research and helps to reduce the time spent funding and accessing materials so these are the important benefits i listed here uh, of about the openness so you see now it about now you know nature you know uh, nature is a, uh, one of the reputed journal in the uh, science domain so in 2011 a report was published in nature journal what was the report a professor of tilbert university in netherland has made up his research data in support of his research hypothesis the students the research other researchers raised the question about the result that he had to face the problem so this type of academic thought still now going on we should as a research scholar as a evolution of the academic society we should stop this academic thought we should cut down on the academic thought so how it is possible it is possible only if we share our data research activities research analysis with others then it is possible and we should do this now another benefit of the openness that is openness sharing of data openness of data also validates our research activity i told you already now this article references an unintentional mistakes in a paper of economic paper that the researcher was overlooked what was the mistake the mistake was in the calculation in spreadsheet they left few rows rows out of the equation to average the values in a column so what happened they got a uh, error interpretation error result so this type of mistakes we can avoid if we share our data if we open our data uh, in the public domain so we should do this and another things open access publication accelerate the research process so it talks about the citation rate if the journal if the publication is deposited in a open repository so we receive the more citations its fact and also accelerate the research process so it is seen that the in the area of research where articles are made available at or frequently before publication the research cycle is accelerating the time gap between the article being deposited and being cited has been sinking dramatically year by year so openness also uh, accelerate our research process sorry now we'll see citation advantage another important thing as a researcher we need to publish the 
research articles in a journal. So we are the author of the article. So as an author, what we expect from the society? What we expect? We are expecting any uh, money. We are expecting other benefits in terms of money. Nothing. We expect only the citation, only the acknowledgement by others. So as an author, it is, the, it is my expectation. We are not expecting other things from the academic society. So Pyor, Pyor and Hishan carried our study and it is seen that if we made data available in a public repository, that paper received 9% more citation than the similar studies for which the data was not made available. So it is fact, if we store, if we upload our paper publication in an open repository, then that paper will receive more citation than the closed access uh, uh, publication. It is true. And this study also said that the more than 9% citation will receive the uh, that publication, open access publication, than the closed access publication. So we may get the citation advantage if we, if we open our uh, research activities. Now see, another important thing that we need to know that uh, always uh, how to publish, publish, uh, publish a paper that is important. As a research scholar, need to publish a, uh, publish a paper in a journal. So there are two options. One is we can select the open access journal for our publication, or secondly, we can we can select the subscription based journal to publish our uh, manuscript research output. But before selecting the journal, we have to check the set part of your database that I told you that I will learn, uh, I will discuss later on. But why it is important? So to see, to check what open access policies are available there. So that is important. So before selecting the paper, uh, publication, journal, we have to uh, check the uh, set part of your database first. So if we Check now. Now, now, if we select the first one, that is, if we select the open access journal to to uh, to publish our uh, research article, then then we may require to pay APC charges. That is, article processing charges may require may not be required but it is seen that maximum time we we have to pay the apc charge so what happened after that the paper the publication will be made available immediately open access by the publisher what will do by the publisher the publisher will receive the, after receiving the APC charges, then they immediately deposit the paper in an open uh, repository. Then we all can access that paper. This is the open access publication. And this, this route is known as open, uh, goal open access route. <coughs> now you see, the immediate, uh, that uh, open access, this is repo uh, repo uh, deposited in a, repository here. Now, alternatively, if we select the second option, if we go for the second option, that is, if we select the subscription-based journal for our publication, then what happened? First, we have to decide, we have to select a repository first. And on the basis of the publisher's policy, we have to Self archive the publication in a repository. Then, then the publisher will do the paper will be made available immediately or delete open access 
that depends on the publisher's policy. That paper may be immediately open access or delayed open access. Two things are there. But most of the cases, that is more than 99% of the cases, you can see the publishers of the second option, that is delayed open access. They impose the embargo on the access of the paper, of the publication. So we cannot access the paper openly because they want to make the profit by providing access to the article first. See, here we are not paying any APC charges. As an author, we are not doing, we are not paying any charges. Subscription charge, we are not paying subscription charge. They sell the paper to the other person, that is institution or other individuals. They will subscribe, not author is subscribing the paper. Am I clear? So in case of author, in case of subscription-based journal, author is not paying anything. Nothing is has to pay by him. But open access journals, he has to pay the OPC charges, APC charges. This is the difference. That's why they impose the embargo for selling the paper. So uh, to others that they can have, they can, uh, they want the time to sell the paper before the access, uh, open access. So this is the uh, thing. And this route is known as the green open access route. Now, there is a, another alternative option we have that is known as hybrid journal. In this case, the journal is open based journal, uh, subscription based journal, and we have to pay the APC charges. Though it is open based journal, uh, subscription based, then we have to APC charges. So uh, the, this is called the hybrid journal, and uh, the publication will be made available immediately. Uh, open access via publishers. So these are the different routes that we can uh, decide how which route will be helpful for us to public uh, to publish a research article. If you have any doubt, if you have uh, any doubt on this, if the subscription is after that we don't need. No, as a author, as a author, we, you need not to pay the uh, uh, for the article or journal. First one journal they will give you if you if you publish a paper in a subscription based journal they will provide a journal if we want to submit a manuscript uh, we need to pay subscribe subscribe that uh, journal right subscribe why you are we are going to subscribe that journal no if you want to access the journal then you need to subscribe the journal you are not access the journal you are submitting the manuscript you are the author, you are not uh, subscribing the journal. Is it clear? Yes. Now we see open data. Basically, you know, uh, open means free. So open data, open content, all are free. And we can modify it, share it by anyone for any purpose. And Tim Bar Barnard's Lee is also famous for what? Tim Berners-Lee, WWW. So proposed for five-star open data on the basis of the structure of the data. What? The five-star data, single-star data, that is the data that are available on the web and under the open license. Uh, I will tell you again, open license, what is the license uh, for the open access publication? I will discuss later on. So, uh, so single star data is those data that are available on the web and there has no specific format, whatever may be the format, but it will be under the open license. This is the uh, single star data. Double star data is if data will be structured data, that is, is the, the data will 
publicly available in Excel sheet, not the, not the uh, scans data, but uh, image data. It talks about the structure, uh, structured data that is uh, available in Excel sheet. So this is the second star, two star data. Three star data that is, it, this type of data uses non-proprietary format, that is CSV format, uh, instead of Excel format. And four-star data basically use the URI, that is universal resource identifier. It is the characteristic that, uh, that uh, uh, separate the things from others. So uh, it denotes that to denote the things that is use the, uh, this data use the URI. And third type of the uh, next last type of data here already. Okay, so now we see deep uh, set data, very valuable data. So we can link our data to the other data to provide the context. So this is the valuable data. We can link the data with other data. They can access the data for their end purpose. Now look at the picture. What is this? Here you see that uh, one person is uh, hiding his research activities, research data, research analysis from others. Till now, what we are discussing? We are discussing about the openness. So is it good research practice? Can we say? No, of course not. It is not a good research practice because the researcher is hiding his data, his research output from others. So we should open our research activities, research data, research output. All things will be open before the uh, public. For our benefits, not for other benefits, for our benefits that I told you, discussed earlier, it validates our results, it, val it accelerates our research work, uh, we can avoid our mistakes. So this, this type of things we can avoid. So, and in this context, Ivan Birni said that it was never acceptable to pu publish papers without making data available. So, talks about that uh, they are given some responsibility on the person who are responsible for the uh, rejection or acceptance of the paper. That is, we can say, editorial board. On the basis of the uh, peer-reviewed report, they take the decision whether the paper will be accepted or not. So, Binnik gives the responsibility on them that you should not accept the paper if the data is not available there. So this is the good practice. If we open our research activities with before the publics in the and available in the public domain. So this is the good practice. Now you see there are three types of repository we have. One is local repository, that is that maybe the library repository or the institutional, that is author, author institution repository. And another repository is a subject related repository. And you know the open door that is a directory of open access repository. So these three types of repository we have, anyone we can select, for our research purpose to upload to uh, deposit the, our publication uh, in this repository. No, no, repository means is a, uh, is a store where we can upload our paper then everybody can access from that. It's a storehouse. That repository is maybe different type. That is closed access, open access. So I'm talking about the open access. The, these are the open access. So open door is open, wild door, open, open access uh, repository. So the floor item, the state that is open access, we don't have to 
No. Close access journals has the different repository that that will be not available uh, freely all of you. Now the time is how to make data open. Till now we are discussing, we have to open the data, we have to, we should open the data, we should open the research activities, all other things. So how it is possible? How we can do this? So there are simple four steps has been suggested by uh, Open Knowledge Foundation. And we have to follow this four step to make data open. First one is we have to select the data set. What data we want to uh, open, want to share with others, that data we have, we have to select first. That is selection of data first. Then we have to apply a license, open license. So there are uh, many, these six types of license I will discuss later on, uh, license, open access license. So that type of license, one of six license we have to apply here. Oh, that is what type of permission I am giving to the user to access our data, to use our data. So that is the talk about the license. So uh, we have to apply a suitable license. Now, uh, we have to provide the suitable structure and uh, that makes, that helps to make the data available. That is. Uh, data should be a uh, suitable structure, suitable format. And last of all, the last of all, what posted on the web that is Now, now see what needs to change. Basically, in this context, Emilio Bruno uh, carried out study and he uh, concluded that we have to make a better system of incentives, incentives uh, from the community for archiving data and code. So we need a system. Otherwise, we cannot uh, archive our data. To archive our data, we need a system for uh, <coughs> list, uh, from the community. And second one is more important. That is, we need to develop a good habit from the beginning among our students. So teachers should uh, teachers should uh, teachers should teach their students how to do this, what to do now. This is the main things. That is the we have have to make a good habit uh, among the students uh, uh, from the beginning. So this is the things, first part I have completed here that uh, regarding the open, uh, open access publishing. So uh, if you have any questions regarding this up to this, but you may ask later on, end of the session, that also you may do. Uh, next. I will start the share for Romeo now. Yes. Uh, basically, 
you you are pursuing a research, uh, research war on a topic so nobody can do the research on that topic on that particular topic with a particular problem so that is that problem is unique to you you have to solve that problem so if you open the your research problem research activity research flow research publication then nobody will do the work on that they can consult they can uh, give you the paper review they can uh, read your paper but they cannot do on this particular they cannot do anything on this particular. yes and it is ethical to not copy from others Yes. But it depends on that person or not. He has to go this process. They cannot. Uh, they cannot hide anything. They also follow the process. They has to go the plagiarism check. They has to go through the others process that we have. And now open access tools. <laughs> so access tools is a very important tools that help us to locate a particular information from a, a different type of sources information sources so you know we have a lots of information in our society thousand and thousand information millions and millions information are available on the web so being a research scholar it is very difficult task to us to find a particular information for our research purpose how it is possible here the research tools help us to find a particular information from a uh, lots of information and you know traditional access tools basically uh, bibliographic catalog databases and other information sources that lead us to the uh, a particular information on a particular topic they help us to find a particular information on a particular topic and similarly open access tools also help us to access to the relevant documents available on our web and here you see i am giving some important open access tools that is open access journal uh open access journal duas Directory of Open Access Journal, Directory of Open Access Book, then Dwarf, Directory of Open Access Repository, Dwarf, Roar, that is a registry of open access repository. So these are the open access tools we can use. And Sherpa Romeo, another important services platform that help us a lot in our publication. So you I uh, you see I highlighted the sherpa room by a color now i would like to discuss the sherpa room what is it basically sherpa room gives us the information about the publication publisher's policy on self archiving of a particular journal article when we were talking about the open access publication in my previous slides you see that different publishers have different policies they sometimes they impose the embargo also on the access of the publication so here we can came to know which publishers has what type of policy regarding the journal or the, of a particular article in a journal so set for you gives up that type of information it is basically online services that integrates and presents publishers and journal open access policies from all around the world and it help us to understand the complex publisher and journal open access policies and uh, it varies journal to journal journal by journal now you see there are two different important things one is sherpa services another sherpa partnership both are based at the center for research communication at the university of nottingham and sherpa services includes the four important components one is sherpa romeo sherpa juliet 
open door and serpa sachi you know the serpa sachi says uh, serpa romeo is a publisher's copyright and uh, archiving policy and serpa juliet serpa juliet uh, basically provides the information about the funders uh, some of you maybe get uh, received the fund received the fund from the funding agency for your research work so the if you uh, if you collect the if you receive the fund from any funding agency they have some mandates they have some guidelines that we have to follow in case of publication so that uh, the, what we have to follow that said for you provides that type of information that uh, research uh, research funders archiving mandates and guidelines that uh, and uh, also provides to see the funders conditions for open access publication and open door you know the open uh, director of open access repository and open uh, set for search is a search engine for the uh, search of uh, for the uk repository so these are the main um, four components that includes the uh, set uh, for services now common creative license uh uh you know it is not included in your syllabus but uh, we have to have a little bit idea about this uh, to understand the open access license uh, agreement in available in the sherpa uh, server database so that's why i am uh, giving an idea basically creative commons is a organization american organization not for profit organization and they introduce mainly six type of license known as the creative commons license the uh, basically it gives everyone from the individual creator to large institution a standard way to give uh, to grant the public permission to use their creative work under the copyright law so it gives the permission public permission to use the creative uh, creative activity creative works under the copyright law this is the creative commons now you see this is the different types of creative common license here you see there are mainly six type of license you see here ccby ccby sa ccby nd ccby nc ccby nc sa ccby nc nd so uh, and this Right. on the left uh, left side you see there are some uh, there are some images are given here that is the we can say uh, that each and every against the each and every there is a uh, some logo so this indicates if we see this logo that indicates ccby this is the one one of the license uh, creative commons license and this there you see some important permissions are listed here copy and publish attribution required whether attribution is required or not whether we can use the commercial purpose or not whether we can modify the content or not and whether we can change the license or not this is the different types of permission uh, or rights are given here and you see um, each and every license against each and there are different type of permission are given here mentioned here so first you see ccby is the most flexible license here we can contain if we uh, if we see the ccby any document under the license ccby then we can modify the content we can copy share distribute and uh, 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 also we can use the commercial purpose the content we can use the commercial purpose and also the change the license also so most flexible uh, license is the ccby you see we can copy we can and one thing we need to attribution that is we have to give the credit to the creator all cases we need to give the credit to the creator so this is the this is the thing and we can commercially use the content that is a publication uh, also we can modify the content we can change the license 
So CCBY is the most flexible, and CCBY SA, SA is the SA ND. These are the attribution, and SA means share alike. So CCBY SA, here we cannot change the license, but except say, if, uh, we can do everything except change the license. So we can share, we can uh, uh, redistribute, and uh, also we can uh, use the content commercially. We can modify the content. So uh, in the case of CCBY SA, in this case, CCBY ND, that is no, uh, no, uh, no drive, no drive that we can change, we cannot change the content of the publication for any documents. And NC, that is non-commercial. We cannot the content, we cannot the paper for commercial purpose, document for commercial purpose. And here we see, that is most restrictive licenses CCBY NC ND. That is, we cannot we access access it, we share it, we copy it, but we cannot use it commercial purpose. We cannot modify the content uh, uh, content, and also we uh, so this is the most restrictive license uh, that is CCBY and all the license for the open access publication, open access document. This license for the open access document. So uh, you see, uh, open access document means we can access it, we can share it, we can reduce. So all all cases you see, all first one that is the all cases there there will find the tick mark. That is it is allowed. And other some parameters are. Uh, Somewhere we will find tick mark, or somewhere we find the cross mark. So this is the Creative Commons license. Now, open share uh, uh, Romeo. Uh, actually, I would like to move to the online demonstration to see the Sherpa Romeo uh, on their own platform.
Means comma, uh, comma delimited format. Uh, Please, um, sorry, and now uh, you see uh, online participant. Please, are you seeing the screen? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. So uh, you see, uh, this is the landing page of Sherpa Romeo website. And uh, uh, you know Sherpa Romeo is uh, basically it provides the information about the publisher's policy on a particular journal article. So it summarizes the uh, it summarizes the publisher's copyright and open access archiving policy on a journal by journal basis. And this platform, this services introduced by JISC, and it is a UK based uh, organization and uh, non profit organization. And you find here two search engine, we can search by the journal title or ISB, ISN number, and also we can search by publisher's name too. And you also find two browse option. We can browse by country and also we can browse by publishers too. So these are the things. Now let me start with the browse by country first. So what we find here, you see, this is the list of name of the country and uh, arranged alphabetically from Albania to Zambia. So, and you see there are numerical number beside with a bracket uh, beside the country, each and every country, and it indicates the number of publication from that country in this database. So, and uh, this result derived from the location of the publisher of each journal 
where a journal has more than one associated publisher, it will appear in the list for all relevant countries. And in case of India, we, we find that India, you see, here, India has total 753 number of publications. So we can say this is the Indian publications, 753 publication in this available in this database. So this is the Indian journal title, Indian publication, that, that is in uh, journal, uh, journal. So uh, arranged alphabetically and with little bit information that is the only SS, uh, ISS number is uh, there and the type document type is journal. The type of the uh, document is mentioned here and uh, we can jump to the any alphabetical order by clicking on the alphabet and also we can see the statistics by clicking on the statistics option to see. Now you see this is the growth of publication in Romeo database that is the Indian we can say it is better to say that is a growth of Indian publications of uh, in Romeo database. So what was the number of total publication was 73 in July 2010. Right now it became 753 uh, in March 2000 uh, in March 2023. So this is the growth of the publication of uh, Indian publication in Romeo database. And uh, you see. Internet at Chito. Now, so which country we can find we can find the uh, country which country has the maximum contribution in this database so here you see that india has 753 number of publication germany has 1100 uh, 1170 and check, let me check the country uk, UK. Yes. UK is followed by US. Yes. Uh, UK has the maximum number of publications that is uh, 99, uh, uh, 9,947 and followed by the United States of America, 7,633. So this is the scenario. Now, if we click on the UK, then we will find the total number of publication uh, here and uh, all the all the publications are arranged alphabetically. And if we see the statistics of the UK, then we will find that you see in 2010, it was only two number of publications there. Right now, it has uh, 9,947 uh, 9, 9, number of publication. So whereas India was 11, as I remember, uh, so far I can remember, Remember that India was 11 number of publication during uh, in the period of 2010, but now it became 753 only. So we can compare that. We can say that uh, uh, the contribution of publication is very uh, uh, is uh, rate of growth of publication is very fast in case of UK and uh, India. So then. Again, I came back to the first page. Now, 
browse by publishers you see this is the list of publishers and uh, here you see the country name is given beside the publishers are also here we will find the count publication count that is the number of publication from this uh, publisher so a to z a to z is the indian publisher and it has only four publication in this database and if you want to see the uh, publication the number of publication that is a full of four publication that we have to click on the view so we will find the, the list of the publication here uh, so list of the publication from a to z journal and uh, we can search by the country also you see so this is the list of country if we click on india then what we will see you will see the total number of here uh, uh, total number of publishers are listed here according to uh, alphabetical order and we can find them we can find the which publishers has the maximum number of pu publication we can list also so you see Twenty forty eight. Yes, I think this one. Yes, 279, 279 from Medno publications. So total Medno publications has 279 pu publications. We can see the 279 publications by clicking on the view. This is the list of publications. So this is the things. Now we can see the now now see what type of information are providing by this database we will see the policy so i am seeing the uh, indian journals so that why i come to the india advanced research so anyone so you see what what we are seeing here what information are there the journal name is advances in research you see and there are three categories of information available one is publication information another is information of publishers policy and the last one is record information you see so publication information under the publication information there are basic information regarding the publication that is title so title is title of the publication is advanced advances in uh, research and iss number also given here and url that is website address is also mentioned here and publisher's name is mentioned here so these are the basic information regarding the pu publication information is just given under the publication information and uh, now what information are available under the publisher? This is the very important part of this uh, of these services. Of, and uh, so you see, you will find the three versions: published version, accepted version, and submitted version. Do you know what is the difference between these three versions? Submitted version basically the manuscript that uh, before the peer review. That uh, the not processing that uh, submitted person that person I, we are submitting that is before the peer, peer review that is that we are prepared the manuscript that we have prepared to submit the uh, uh, the uh, publication submit for publication that is the submitted version and accepted version that is the version of the manuscript with peer reviewed comments with peer review. So this is the accepted version and 
published version that is the final version but in case of accepted versions there will be no data set in as a uh, as an uh, article in a journal uh, type set sorry type set the, there will be no type set as an article in a journal so only the version that is before the uh, after the uh, peer review but there will be no type set and uh, published version will see the peer reviewed comments and also the type set is there as an article in a journal so this is the difference between the three versions and now if we uh, click on the expand then we will see the policy available under the published version in this uh, uh, for this publication what policy are available uh, for the published version so you see journalist uh, includes the open access journal open access publishing embargo no embargo there is no embargo license ccby very flexible license is there and copyright author author is the copyright owner and uh, public publisher deposit publisher deposit that is a uh, it is deposit the repository name publisher will be deposited in the uh, pubmed central that is a renowned uh, uh, repository and uh, location where the uh, where the article will be uh, available that is a uh, repository named repository we can say that is a pubmed central and journal website also it is available will be journal website and condition condition means uh, that is i attribution that is we have to give the uh, acknowledgement to the creator so published source must be acknowledged here so this is the condition we have to follow regarding if we want to publish a paper in this journal then we have to follow this uh, uh, policy this is the publisher's policy and what are available against the accepted version no no embargo cc by uh, any repository we can uh, we can deposit it we can select it we can keep it any repository and condition is same like as published version and submitted version in case of submitted version no embargo cc by license agreement uh, license conditions and also uh, institutional repository we can um, uh, deposit it institutional repository name repository preprint repository Uh, you know, preprint repository is a uh, repository there we can uh, submit the pre-version, the I mean, submitted version of the paper. That is the preprint repository, and uh, condition is condition is same, and record information is available also here. The record item, policy item, and this data was created in 2015 on 17 March. and also it has been modified last modified on 2000 uh, on uh, 10th january in 2023 so this is the information regarding this uh, journal and uh, if you want to uh, publish a uh, article in this journal we have to uh, we have to follow we have to maintain this uh, this uh, mandates uh, uh, given by the uh, publishers next i am showing you another example <coughs> embargo means the sometimes publisher uh, i told you again uh, earlier that is uh, in case of if we select the subscription based journal to publish our research work then uh, publisher sometimes uh, put embargo on the paper to access that we cannot access the paper so uh, for a limited time that may be 6 a uh, six month to three years between this period they uh, actually make the profit by selling the paper sorry sorry this is uk based publication which one no all countries are covered by here you see indian has uh, 753 journals as i told Albania to Germania, I have told you. So there are so many countries there. UK based companies, UK. 
UK based company, but that is organization UK based JISC. So now you see, again, seeing you the. Uh, under the publication information, you see here the title is given uh, Advances in Human Biology. ISC number is given here, URL is given here, publisher is given here, and another extra information you will find here that is a DOAS listing. That is, this journal will be available in the open access, uh, open access uh, journal, the objective uh, of open access journal. So that's why it is mentioned here, it is a, uh, uh, it is DOAS listing and APC required or not. So nobody can misguide you whether, whether the, if the, uh, if the journal, if the uh, editor or anybody authority, if, if asking for your money, APC charges for this part, part, uh, particular, particular publication, you need not to pay because here you see, the APC charge is not required for this journal. That's why I am uh, telling you that uh, before publication, you have to carefully read these uh, options, that is policy. And uh, in this case, uh, publisher's policy, what we have, you see, Published version, it is open access publishing, no embargo, uh, licenses, CC, BY, NC, SA. That is, we cannot use it commercial purpose or also you cannot change the license agreement. And uh, uh, PubMed repository uh, location is there, license, uh, that is journal website, non-commercial website, and named repository and condition is Condition is then to publish source must be acknowledged with the citation. And in case of accepted version, no embargo license is same, CCBY, NCSA, uh, institutional repository, subject repository, and condition is same. And accepted, uh, <coughs> submitted version, no embargo, uh, license is same, institutional repository, subject repository, condition is same. So this is the information regarding the journal and there is also available the uh, report information you see. So now you will see the another example, advanced biological research you see. It is also a DOAS listing journal, but here APC charges is required. Whether APC charges required or not, yes, it is required. It mentioned here, and uh, uh, in case of there is no extra things, okay. Uh, now, uh, let me see one thing uh, that is, uh, I am putting the title of the journal here. Journal of Oral and Facial, facial Pain, Oral and Facial Pain Edit. Search by Now we see in this case journal. Oral of uh, journal of oral and facial pain and headache. So you will find the basic information regarding the journal under the public in, uh, publication information. That is title, ISSN number, uh, URL, and publisher's name. Now, under the publisher's policy, here you see published person is not allowed for open access. That is we cannot access this person uh, open, openly, freely. So this is the embargo. And here you see, there are embargo for 12 months for the accepted person. So accepted person, they have, uh, they have embargo. And published person, they will not be free uh, access. 
not to allow for free access for this person of this for this version so this is the things and uh, for the submitted version uh, there is no embargo and any, any website so you see here we cannot access the final version that is published version we cannot access it will be accessible against the fee that is they will sell the paper we have to subscribe the paper then we can it will be available and in accepted version this accepted version also they imposed the embargo on this version it will be available after 12 months up to 12 months it will be not available from the uh, 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 repository so this is the things and submitted person we can access so submitted person there is no value uh, and this is the report information so this is the things and another thing i am showing you you know nature next mm. Advanced materials. So you see there is the basic information is given here. Uh, regarding the publication information and uh, just published version what have in case of published version there is no uh, uh, you see the open access key associated with it what does it mean open access P associate with it means if there are any extra fees is required other than APC charges, that is known as open access fee. So it, it is not the APC charges, it is additional charges to the APC charges. For the uh, 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 it sometimes they, they receive the charge for uh, for immediate uh, immediate uh, uh, open access. For immediate uh, uh, open access, they take the uh, they receive these charges. So this is the uh, known as this is the charge known as open access fee, and uh, open access fee is associated with this version. And another thing is there is no embargo and uh, CCBY. And now we see there are published person. In case of published one, there are two one of pathway B and pathway C. What does it mean? Here, there are different type of conditions are applied by the publishers. License condition is here. You see license condition CC, BY, NC, ND. And here you see the license condition is different. CC, BY, NC. So there are two types of license condition. So that's why path is different. That is pathway A, pathway B. And pathway C is there is C also. A, B, C. There is three pathway. That is the license for the uh, here you see C, B, Y, C, C, B, Y, N, C, N, D, and you see here uh, C, C, B, Y, N, C. So that's why there are three different type of license are uh, having. That's why. Uh, uh, Path is different. So uh, I think this is the policy that I told you. Now you see the statistics. What is the what are showing this? Uh, you see <clears throat> the statistics gives us the uh, the publishers by country. Here you see the United States of America has the maximum number of publishers that is 527 and uh, followed by the UK 287 and uh, whereas India has 180 number of publishers. Uh, so 
and this is the growth publisher growth in uh, romeo so it was 58 in 2004 and now it is 300 uh, 3301 in march 2023 so this is the growth of publishers in romeo uh, database now another thing i will show you that is the juliet romeo juliet so <clears throat> Romeo Juliet. So basically, Romeo Juliet is a searchable database and single focal point of up to date information concerning the uh, funders' policy and their requirement on open access publication and data archiving. So you see, uh, we have to search, you will find the search option. We have to search by the funders' name. And also, we can browse the funders to see the funders. This is the funders name. Now we see uh, Academy of Finland. So you, there are three types of con there are three types of policy are given here. This is the funder of uh, Finland country. And here you see open access archiving. Open access uh, open access is mandatory. That is required for this part for uh, for, uh, for the uh, for this. This is the mandatory condition of the uh, finders. Open, ac open access archiving is required. Open access publishing is required. Op data archiving is required. This is the mandatory condition of these funders. And you see uh, Academy of Medical Science. You see the open access archiving is man mandatory. Uh, open access publishing also mandatory, but they has no policy for the open archiving. So this is the different uh, different policy, different thing than the uh, earlier. So, so another thing we can say here: yeah, um, Agence National G La uh, Research is a uh, German company, uh, German finan uh, financer that is funder. And open access archiving is required. Uh, open access publishing encourages data. Uh, archiving encourages, not mandatory, and no policy, it is encourages. Now, we can see the country as what about our country, what is the scenario of India? Now see, we have only two funders named here. One is uh, Indian Alliance, and another is Indian Council of Agricultural Research, that is ICAR, you know. So in case of ICER, you see uh, open access archiving is required. It is mandatory for, for these funders. And open access publishing is not, no policy is there. And uh, data archiving also, they have no policy of, uh, on open uh, data archiving. And now you see the insight of the policy. Uh, here you see there are different types, categories of information are available here. Now the funders information, what are the funders information are given? Uh, funders name, you see the Indian Council of Agricultural uh, Research, ICAR. Funders also is, uh, is mentioned here, identifiers, that is a reference number is also given here, country name is also. Uh, so this is the basic information under the funder information. Okay. Next. Now we see that it is mandatory, that is required. What is required, what we have to do? We have to do the open access archiving. That is, we have to follow the open access, open access archiving if we, pay, if we receive the funds from this agency. So this, these things we have to uh, follow. So what, uh, it, is, it is requirement. What is requirement? It requires open access archiving. And uh, how to archive? Now, required open access archiving. Then how to archive? Peer reviewed, what to archive, sorry, what to archive. That is peer reviewed publication is to be archived. Now, when to archive? At the earliest possible opportunity and uh, permitted um, uh, embargo 12 months. Where to archive? <coughs> appropriate institutional repository. We have to archive uh, in the appropriate uh, institutional repository and uh, metadata record, metadata record must be uh, deposited at the date of publication 
and special conditions. There are some special conditions also are mentioned here. That is, a uh, author are required to deposit the final version of the author's peer-reviewed manuscript in the ICR institution, open access in uh, in uh, open access institutional repository. That is, a uh, author have to so have to deposit a paper uh, to the uh, uh, ICR uh, ICR institutional repository. So this is the condition we have to fulfill if we receive the fund from this agency. And uh, in case of, so basic, basic things is open access archiving, open access publishing, and open access, uh, open data archiving. So these three things, they have the three condition on the three things, uh, the open data archiving, open uh, access publishing, and uh, open access archiving. Now you see there is no policy for open access uh, public. So, uh, what is the meaning of embargo? Embargo. Embargo money to me. Uh, when you could not get to to me, here could the parvena. Embargo money on expression in a tactic at the embargo at the money post love for the money for Kayotake at a money time being stopped for a rough embargo money. Pause, pause, pause. So, uh, okay. Now, uh, now, open access publishing is not required for this uh, for these cases. And uh, but open access policy. Now, what is the op general open access policy? When it will be effect the effect effect effective for all current projects from 13th September 2013. I think you will all under this um, uh, under this uh, mandate. Uh, it will be effect from the 13, uh, 2013 uh, uh, in uh, from 13 September. So till now it will going on. And application scope apply uh, applies to all full and partly funded projects. Fully and partly funded projects. All cases it will be applied. And uh, some notes and important notes are also in. Here we will find policy also applies to MSc and PhD thesis and dissertation. You know, sometimes we have to uh, submit the MSc dissertation. And uh, so in that case, if we receive the, any fund from this agency, that is ICR, we have to follow this protocol. We have to follow this guideline. So apply uh, policy also applies to MSc and PhD thesis uh, dissertation. And another thing, is ICR Institute to set up an open access uh, institutional repository. ICR shall set up a central harvester to harvest the metadata and full text of all the uh, records from all the open access repository of the uh, ICR institution. So these are the different in, uh, important notes we have uh, are given here. And uh, in case of no policy for the data archiving, so we need not to archive the data for this uh, for this funders and record information is also available so when it is uh, after created 2013 on 17 uh, september and last modified on 2021 on 7 uh, 11 february so this is the things if we receive any fund from the uh, from the icr we have to follow this uh, mandates <sighs> Now, what about the Indian Alliance? You see, Indian Alliance, the, under the funder information, you will find the uh, basic information that is funder names, funder uh, URL, identifier number, uh, country, etc. So here you see, we uh, mandate is we need to, uh, we need to deposit the open access archiving. So this is the requirement. Requirement requires the open access archiving, and uh, what to archive peer reviewed publication. We have to archive, and uh, mm -hmm. when to archive at the earliest possible opportunity, and where to archive named repository, not the institutional repository, named repository, and the named repository that they also mentioned here, named repository that is PubMed and Euro PCM. So this is the, uh, and it is required. It is a uh, Europe PubMed, Euro PMC, Euro PMC, and PubMed is
optional, but European PMC is mandatory. It is required. So, uh, in the earlier cases, we see that we see that uh, they, uh, How there is no restriction. Uh, we can we can archive in a local repository, but here they mention the repository. So, where we have to archive? Yeah. So encouragement, encourage, encourage the open access. They encourage for the open access uh, uh, publishing. And in this case, why are to publish in a peer review, in a peer open access journal? It's optional. And uh, license is B, uh, CCBY condition cost of the. So and this is the special conditions also mentioned here. So there should be like a water <laughs> and the uh, general uh, general open access policies is applied to fully or partly uh, partly funded projects and uh, policy uh, that policy links also available here we can click on the link then we find the policy and encourage encourages data also we find that is encourage data uh, open data archives research data what type of data research data when it to be archived at the possible uh, opportunity and uh, where to be archived not specified and data cost that is to be mentioned uh, here the cost of the access provision may be removed and the uh, not for profit basis and special conditions not specified so these are the things you will find the this, uh, this website this database uh, that are needed uh, for our publication, so what type of mandates are available uh, 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 for the uh, space or uh, just uh, particular funders that we have to follow? So from the uh, that we can come to know from this database that is uh, shared for Juliet and uh, publishers policy. We come to know the shared for uh, you and funders policy. We can come to know the shared for Juliet. This is the things and. Uh, Finally, I think we have no almost it. So now, if you have any query, then you can ask me. Otherwise, you also you will find my phone number, uh, mail ID on the website of the Vishwad website and also library website. You may mail me so there is no problem so now if you have any question then no Editor, editorial uh, reviewer is not have any right to take the decision whether uh, the paper will be accepted or not. They can comment the way that this paper should be accepted or not. Finally, they actually editorial board send the paper to the uh, blind uh, peer reviewed expert uh, that is the uh, three or four subject experts. So they don't know about the author. They send the report whether the, uh, about the quality of the paper and what what type of uh, modification is required so then it is within the control of modification then they can accept the paper they, after some modification it may be accepted but it is the totally uh, beyond the control that is a is more more modification is there is there is no logic there is no data there is other things is not uh, protocols or uh, public publishing uh, protocols parameters not maintained there so that paper will not be accepted so they made the comment but ultimate decision is take that the uh, editorial report on the basis of that comment or uh, review result uh, the students from the bengali mainly bengali uh, uh, bengali domain the that is Bengali subject, they will ask in Bangla. Bangla Tumla Jigis Kutte Paro, Jodi Bangla Kyo Thakko. That's according to the Jigis Kutte Paro. Oh, Ushkar. Yeah, 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 Ushkar.
जार्नल जानी इम्पोर्टेंट ग्रुप छोटो ग्रुप आज पैरामिटर दिए मान जस्टिफाई करामिटर गोरासफाई करते जार्नल मैंने ওখানে শুধুমাত্র আর্টিকেলটা দেখা হলো ইনডেক্সিং যেগুলো আছে সেটা শো হবে 
না তাহলে ওই জার্নালটা কি ভেগ জার্নাল কিনা প্রথম মানে পিরিয়েটরি জার্নাল যেটা আমার নেক্সট ইয়ারতে আছে পিরিয়েটরি জার্নাল কিনা সেটা ফার্স্ট আমাদেরকে আইডেন্টিফাই করতে হবে যদি পিরিয়েটরি জার্নাল হয় তাহলে দে ক্লেম দা ফলস ইনফরমেশন দ্যাট দে অলওয়েজ সে মানে তারা ভেগ ইনফরমেশন তারা ক্লেম যে তাদের অনেক রিপোর্টেড ডেটাবেসের নাম দিয়ে দেবে যে আমরা এখানে এখানে ইনডেক্স হয় সেই ক্ষেত্রে ওই জার্নালের অথেন্টিসিটি নিয়ে কোশ্চেন উঠবে যদি ওই জার্নালটা পিরিয়েটরি হয় তাহলে তারা ফলস ইনফরমেশন দিয়ে তোমাকে পাবলিক তারা এপিসি চার্জ নিচ্ছে বা অন্য অন্য পয়সা নিচ্ছে আর যদি সেটা রেপুটেড জানালো অবভিয়াসলি তারা সেটা মেনটেন করা মানে হয়তো আপডেট করতে দেরি হতে পারে কিন্তু অবভিয়াসলি সেটা মেনটেন করা হবে ওয়েব অফ সায়েন্স যদি বা অন্য কোনো জার্নাল একটা রেপুটেড জার্নাল যদি তুমি ইয়ে করো পাবলিশ করো সেটা অবশ্যই সেটা যেই কথাটা তারা বলা থাকবে ওয়েবসাইটে সেখানে পাওয়া যাবে ওয়েব অফ সায়েন্স বা স্কোপাস বা মানে অন্য অন্য যে ডেটাবেস গুলো আছে পাবমেড না কেমিক্যাল অ্যাবস্ট্রাক্ট বায়োলজিক্যাল অ্যাবস্ট্রাক্ট সেখানে থাকবে जार्नलिंगे ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ইন্টারন্যাশনাল হোক আর না হোক ইন্টারন্যাশনাল দিয়ে অনেক পিরিয়েটরি জার্নাল পাবলিশ হয় সেটা বলা মুশকিল সেই জন্য কিছু প্রসিডিউর আছে কিভাবে সেটা আইডেন্টিফাই করার নেক্সট ক্লাসে আমি আই উইল ডিসকাস এনি কোয়েশ্চেন মোর ফর দ্য অনলাইন পার্টিসিপেন্ট এনি কোয়েশ্চেন ফ্রম ইউর সাইট ওকে থ্যাংক ইউ ইফ ইউ ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ এনি কোয়েশ্চেন ইউ মে আস্ক লেটার অন মাই ফোন নাম্বার অ্যান্ড মেল আইডি অলসো অ্যাভেলেবল অন দ্য ওয়েবসাইট লাইব্রেরি ওয়েবসাইট সো you may collect my contact number from there and you may touch through mail okay sir sure okay thank you thank you